Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I've got a BMW GS1200. Uh, the exhaust on the bike is a little bit too soft for me. The reason I say this is usually when I go through traffic, people tend to walk in front of me. While I'm moving between two vehicles, especially if it's a big commercial vehicle like a minibus or something like that, the people don't look while they pass through the vehicles, then they walk in front of me. This happens quite a lot. So I like to have my exhaust a little bit louder than while I go through, I rev, rev a little bit. Uh, that's just for safety purposes. So what I did is I modified this silencer of mine because I don't have a lot of money to buy a new uh, aftermarket one because those are quite expensive. So I did a lot of research and the little bit I could find was basically it looks like this inside. Uh, so this part continues through around there somewhere, it stops and it returns. Then at some point, it's got a bunch of holes drilled into it, but there's not a lot, but I, I, I suppose it's enough for the, for the exhaust to escape. So what happens is in this end, the, the, the exit end of the exhaust pipe, there's another pipe inside. And this one has got a lot more holes all around the pipe. So what happens is the, the sound and the exhaust fumes goes through those holes into the box where it resonates around, uh, it bounces off the surfaces until it goes through those holes and exits the bike. So from this end, there's not much I can do about it. So I don't bother, I didn't bother to do anything with this one, but this one was my main concern. So if you look through this side and you take a torch, you can see the end cap of this exhaust pipe. So what I did is I took a hole saw and I drilled through it. Let me show you. So basically what I did is I took a, 30, a 57 uh, millimeter hole saw with an extension bit. Now this I can, by wiggling a bit, I can snake it through until I reach the, the, the end cap with a normal hand drill. I drilled through that end cap. So this pipe is a straight through at this stage. The next thing I want to look into is this exhaust flap. As far as I understand, it is there to keep the noise down when you're not in high revs. But uh, I want to eliminate this. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Right, the final thing I want to do is remove the catalytic converter. Now I can see there's the box for it. But I see this is a stainless steel pipe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've got stainless steel rods to re-weld it if I cut a hole in it. Uh, usually they say you have to cut the hole from the top and after you're removing the catalyst, you can put the plate back and re-weld it so then you can't see uh, where you've done that. But the problem is I do not have a MIG or a TIG welder. I only have got a stick welder. Now this is quite thin stainless steel. So to weld this with a stick welder, especially a stainless steel, I think that will be a mess. So fortunately, if I look down this barrel, I can see the catalytic converter. So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can punch some holes through it. Okay, I don't know if I can get it to focus, but if you look and you see that shiny thing there at the back, that's the catalytic converter. It's got little small holes, many, many of them. So let's see if we can punch a couple of big ones through. All right, I modified a steel drill. So let's see how this goes. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars. Okay, I can see there's four successful holes. I'm afraid if I go down, I might end up drilling through the exhaust side itself. So let me just carefully consider what's my next step here. Yeah? I've managed to punch a couple of holes more. Uh, my angle is bad. I do not think I'll be able to make another one, but let's let's see what I can do. 
Now I think let's rather quit while we're at. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven successful holes. That's about 14 millimeters. I don't know if it will be sufficient. I will have to see otherwise if there's a problem in the performance. I'll have to resort to cutting out the catalytic converter and re uh, weld it back up again. I'm just afraid one of these cables might catch somewhere. It might set off a sensor. I don't know how the, sen uh, the system works. So let's just tuck it in somewhere and hope for the best. I've been riding the bike for a couple of days now. The exhaust is a little bit louder, but it's not too much that it annoys you. Uh, it's difficult to say if there's a power increase. The bike is powerful to start with, but there's definitely not a decrease in power. That I can guarantee you. Um, overall, I'm satisfied with what happened. Uh, the holes through the catalytic converter doesn't seem to hold it back. Uh, I don't have any problems with that. Uh, unhooking the flap, nothing, no sensors went off, no uh, alarms went off. It doesn't make any difference to the performance of the bike. Um, what else is there? Yes, I tried to make a video to compare uh, this, the, the loudness of the exhaust before and after, but unfortunately the, the camera doesn't do it justice. Uh, you can't pick up a difference on camera. But in real life, yes, there's a little bit of a difference. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's, uh, I think it worked out well. So yeah, guys, that's it from me. I uh, hope you enjoy what you see. If you've got any suggestions on topics that you want to see, or if you have a bolt, a camper bolt, or a canopy bolt, or something like that, that you wish to show on this channel, you are more than welcome to contact us. The, the email address will be in the description below. Uh, we will gladly go out to you and uh, see what you are doing with your project and we can show it to the rest of the viewers. One last thing guys, YouTube tells me that it's only a, a small percentage of the viewers that is subscribed to our channel. Please, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. It will help us a lot. Have a nice day. Please consider subscribing to our channel and you can do this by clicking on this button and if you want to watch more content like this, you can click on this button. Thank you.